take the red pill, you stay in Wonderland, and I show you how deep the rabbit hole goes. ODD TV. Hey everybody, welcome to ODD TV. I got something I'd like to share with you all. Shout out to Dave of Deep Inside the Rabbit Hole, D-I-T-R-H. He sent me a very interesting article from Ledger Insights called U.S. Firm Combines Nanotechnology Blockchain for COVID-19 Immunity Passports. Let's read it. U.S.-based Quantum Dot producer Quantum Materials Corp. QMC announced its blockchain-based QDX health ID for transparency in disease testing and immunization for infectious diseases. The goal is to ensure the authenticity of health data and support individuals to rejoin the workforce quickly. Quantum dots are nanoparticles made up of semiconductor materials that emit different colors when illuminated by light. This color depends on their size and the way they were manufactured. QMC has developed a track and trace solution using quantum dots and blockchain to verify the origin of products and counterfeiting. The authentication solution is combined with QDX Health ID for monitoring and tracking the outbreaks of diseases, such as COVID-19. The solution authenticates individuals being tested, the persons administering the test, and the test kits. In simpler terms, QDX Health ID ensures that testing data is secure and not tampered with. Currently, health reports and medical certificates are being issued on paper, which makes them easy to forge. Not only does this service facilitate improved health outcomes for patients, but it also underpins back-to-work certifications, sometimes referred to as immunization passports, said Stephen B. Squires, President and CEO of QMC. So we're gonna have to have back-to-work certifications? See me? Yes, sir. Okay for work. Can you hear me? Can you see me? Yes, sir. Okay for work. Can you hear me? Can you see me? Yes, sir. They are really going all in with this pandemic. Like many of you out there that are subscribers to this channel, I knew this stuff was coming, but I really didn't think they were going to move so quickly. This is insanity. I'm truly shocked at this turn of events. Anyway, let's, let's continue reading. With the health data backed by blockchain, governments and health agencies can formulate new plans and safety measures to contain the spread of COVID-19 and other diseases. Additionally, individual users can assess their immunization passport using a mobile application. The app features color-coded indicators, green, yellow, and red. If the app shows the green indicator, the individual has clearance to interact in social and work environments. This indicator can be shared and authenticated by others using a QR code. What the f***? Clearance to interact in social and work environments? How much more dystopian can this get? Our rights and our liberties are just out the window, huh? Unbelievable. Let's continue. The world must have a system that eliminates the fears and anxiety of not knowing who is able to return to work, said Les Paul, CEO of QMVT, the unit responsible for sales and marketing of QMC's innovations. Are you kidding me? Fears and anxiety of not knowing who's able to return to work? Nobody is sitting around thinking about this. This is being forced on us. Continuing on. The solution is hosted on the Microsoft Azure cloud and can integrate with existing EMR systems. Of course it is. Bill Gates, Microsoft has everything to do with this. It is based on the Hyperledger Sawtooth Enterprise blockchain, and for smart contracts, it's using the Digital Asset Modeling Language, DAML. Yesterday, Ledger Insights reported on the COVID Credentials Initiative, CCI, which uses digital identity to develop immunity passports. Members of the initiative include Evernim, ID2020, Uport, 
Dutch research organization TNO, Microsoft, Consensus Health, and consultants Luxoft and many others. This is so messed up. This is the saddest news I've ever had to report on this channel. At least about things that are currently going on. But again, they're gonna have to lock me up or kill me or something because I am definitely not going along with this BS. This is ridiculous that we even have to worry about this. Let's watch a news clip about this company, Quantum Materials Corp. New at six, as Governor Greg Abbott begins to investigate avenues to reopen portions of the state, he says making sure companies and workers are safe to gather will be a priority. While Silicon Valley giants are working to figure out a master plan for this, a local nano company in San Marcos says it's already got a system that's a month away from startup. Ursula Perry explains its plan is to help achieve coronavirus containment. Quantum Materials in San Marcos is a nanotechnology company that already makes solutions to protect companies from counterfeiting operations. Using some of that same approach, it's now promoting QTX Health ID. It's an app to authenticate COVID-19 test results and make sure those who have the virus stay home and those who don't can return to work. It was fairly easy to adapt it to be able to be a solution for tracking um, these tests, the test results, um, and to be able to provide an immunity certificate or some, in, a, in electronic format that would allow people to be able to return to work. The need for authentication of test results and tracking comes after failures worldwide with problem test kits and a lack of a vaccine. The health provider logs into the app the same as the patient does. They, they take the record of the test kit that, that was used for their testing, so it also will start to provide some of a data tracking which tests are turning out to be accurate and which ones aren't. QDX Health ID claims that their system would monitor patients' tests and authenticate them, even track them all the way through the period when a vaccine is administered, certifying and clearing those who can go back to work and who needs further testing. We, if we return too soon, soon and we don't have good tracking, um, it, 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 we could wind up in a worse situation. This is what that phone app would look like. The track and trace program could be up and running by June 1st, and its makers are now in talks with the governor's office to see if it could be adopted statewide. In the meantime, a beta trial is underway over the next month. Ursula Perry, KSAT 12 News. Just wow. The idea that we have to have a chip in our bodies so they can enter information into that chip that will determine whether we can go to work or even leave our homes to go out at all? How is this okay? I'll tell you, it's not. There are about to be a lot of problems because I know a lot of people that aren't gonna stand for this. So they're gonna have to catch us, restrain us, and finally put use to their mini FEMA camps that they have in place already. The last paragraph of that article we just read mentioned something called the COVID Credentials Initiative. Let's see what that's all about by going to covidcreds.com. The COVID-19 Credentials Initiative, CCI, is a collaboration of more than 60 organizations working to deploy verifiable credential solutions to help stop the spread of COVID-19. Our goal is simple. We want to enable society to return to normal in a controlled, measurable, and privacy-preserving way. The initiative is a direct response to the many calls for an immunity passport, a digital certificate that lets individuals prove and request proof from others that they've recovered after testing negative, have tested positive for antibodies, or have received a vaccination once one is available. By proving some level of immunity, individuals will be able to begin participating in everyday life again. Are you not just extremely livid and infuriated over this? How the f are these people going to implement this disgustingly wicked and horrifying amount of control over our lives? This should be highly appalling to anyone out there, not just truth seekers, oh no. This is beyond offensive and undignified. This is a blatant takeover of the world and the biggest push towards the one world order 
I've ever seen in my lifetime. To wrap up what it says here, using the W3C industry standard called verifiable credentials, we have a blueprint to move forward. Yet while the underlying tech and standards are established, the vision for immunity certificates and other related credentials is far bigger than any one organization. To move at the speed and scale required, we need true collaboration across all fronts, and we are extending an open invitation for any organization or individual looking to join this endeavor. Coming together for good. My 200 plus contributors, 60 plus global organizations, 7 plus work streams. Everybody involved in this are just vile and disgusting satanic scumbags. Evil and slimy pieces of <laughs> These people should be wiped from the face of the earth. So utterly repulsive and sickening these people are. Let's skip down to the bottom here and you can see many of the outfits that are involved. I'll leave a link in the description. You can go check this website out for yourself. This just keeps getting worse and worse and worse and worse. Uh, I've covered a lot of this stuff that's to come in my last few videos. So be sure to watch those if you haven't. In my video entitled, Pass Me a Corona, we go over the puppet celebrities that pretend to have the virus in order to give it credibility, and a few other things. In my video entitled, Revelation, Bill Gates and ID2020, Microchips for a Cashless Society, we go over the whole foundation for all of this and I show you that digital IDs are to be injected into babies at birth. In my video entitled, 666, Microsoft Cryptocurrency Patent, we go over the blockchain cryptocurrency technology that's to be employed with this digital ID situation. Finally, in my video titled One World Together at Home, Extreme Propaganda, we go over the star-studded event that took place on Saturday, April 18th called One World Together at Home. It was pure propaganda that called for the entire world to unite and work together and do whatever it takes to make this world safe again. The only problem is that the world is fine the way it is. Besides, of course, already living in a debt-based system that's meant to keep poor people poor and the financial elite in total control of everything that happens. And that, my friends, is the exact reason for what we're seeing now. But more of our rights have and are in the process of being taken away. And this is as much as I can take. We have to stand up now and make moves this is a defining moment that will go down in history. Our last chance to fight back as free-range humans before the complete annihilation of our rights are taken and the total enslavement of humanity becomes our reality. There's no time left. Do not consent to what they are trying to do. It's gonna take the majority of the people and this is the whole reason I started my channel to wake up as many people as possible before these kinds of things started happening. If we outnumber them, which we do, but in a stand against them, then we can do this. I love all of you and I'm so sorry that this is happening. I know many people are stuck in terrible situations and suffering because of this elite show of force. But hang in there and stay strong. Do whatever you have to do to survive and refuse to participate in the mutated beast system that they are currently rolling out. We all have to say no and be ready to do what we must. I don't know what else to tell you. This has been ODD TV. Never sleep again. to be awake when the rest of the world is blind everything that happens is happening by design they want to steal your soul and they want to control your mind please hope
open up your eyes We are running out of time It's hard to be awake when the rest of the world is blind Everything that happens is happening by design They wanna steal your soul and they wanna control your mind Please open up your eyes We are running out of time the new world order is all about total domination. That's why they're constantly dumbing down the whole population in education.